sexual predators and comprehensive sex education both break down inhibitions. That's what they start with. They also gain trust with the child and then slowly start to get them towards sexual activity. Anything goes. Um, you are teaching uh, children uh, adult child sex, you're teaching transgender issues, um, and you know, children are, are moldable and, and influenced by that. They said, okay, now we need you and your team to be able to explain what homosexuality is to a four-year-old student. To introduce this kind of material at that age, frankly, it's child abuse. You're gonna teach our children that it's okay for any two children of any age, of any sex, to have sexual intercourse with each other as long as two components are present, one's using a condom and they both give consent. Did I hear that correctly? It's not a neutral venue. There's no such thing, okay? The schools are doing your job. They are discipling your children, but they're not discipling them in the faith of Jesus Christ. It's only the exceptional child that even survives that system. Most do not survive, most have not survived. They believe that children are sexual from birth and that they deserve and have the right to be sexually active and to seek sexual pleasure. And if anyone is stopping them from that, then you are judging and oppressing them. Even kindergarten now, they're wanting to teach them more and more perverse information and acts and put that into the children's minds. And once those the, that poison is in a child's mind, it doesn't leave. They'll always remember what they learned. And it's by design, it's orchestrated. In my humble opinion, it will be worse before it gets better. <laughs>